Okay. <laughs> you having troubles falling asleep as well? Yeah. It's not easy. Especially when you are aware that you are having trouble falling asleep, I tend to have even more trouble falling asleep. Continuing on. Ugh. I wish you could just snap your finger and you fell asleep. But we aren't that lucky, sadly. And therefore, we must lay here and feel like we can never fall the sleep but if you don't mind I don't really have anything important to do tomorrow so will you allow me to help you fall asleep <laughs> yeah at least I'll try my best that's for sure hmm so what have you been doing lately Oh, I see. Yeah. Who, oh, me? Uh, I haven't been doing too much, honestly, but I've been doing some carpenting, if you'd like to see. Yeah? Alright. You see this thing right here. This is a box that I've made for my girlfriend. Now, she doesn't watch my videos, so it's alright if I tell you that we're having our one year anniversary quite soon. And I wanted to give her a necklace. Not just any kind of necklace. I wanted to give her a necklace that means something to me and to her. Probably has some meaning. But I'm having big issues with it, with finding the right one. But anyway, it's just a simple box that I sawed and sanded and made a hole in and made locking mechanism. It took quite a while. The wood that I decided to use is incredibly difficult to work with, but it ended up working out in the end, luckily. And yeah, but let's not worry about that. Let's worry about trying to fall asleep together <laughs> it's so hard you know when you want to sleep you just see a video or something and you go like oh oh my god i need to watch that but at the same time you know telling yourself that oh god you really really shouldn't you should try and fall asleep but you really don't want to fall asleep These things right here. They are tiny rose petals. That they just feel so amazing to touch. They are, what do you call these colors? They are blue and a fascinating yet beautiful color of a mix in between red and pink i can't quite tell which one it actually is but that's all right i am in fact if you don't know a tiny bit colorblind to where i don't really see the difference between uh, what other colors again because I don't really think about it too much. It doesn't really affect me. Oh yeah, it is orange and yellow. Now, <laughs> I remember once I bought a, what I presumed was a yellow hoodie. But everybody kept saying, oh, that's a cute orange hoodie. And I'm like, what? What do you mean? All right, you wearing a cute orange hoodie? Don't you like me saying that you're wearing something cute? I just said, oh, no, 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 no never mind, I just... Didn't hear what you said. And then I walked and I thought to myself, what? <sighs> but yeah, damn, I am tired. I hope you are too. I hope you're able to fall asleep soon as well. 
Good server. And of course, as I tend to say a lot, we all need to sleep. Once in a while, at least. I mean, when I do travel with the army, I'm assuming that there's going to be not as much sleep, but I'm assuming they will allow us to sleep. Good soldiers won't be able to. Well. <sighs> Fight as hard if they don't get to sleep. Mm. Damn. I really, really, really need to go to the beach one day. Do you mind if I just throw open a laptop and check the weather? <laughs> yeah, I will turn the brightness off. You could probably turn your back as well, if you'd like, so you don't see me on the computer. You don't care? Well, whatever you say. Let's see. Uh, maybe not. It's gonna rain every single day. Except for Friday. Friday's gonna be quite alright. From 6 to 12, full sun. 17 Celsius. 17 cell. Uh, Celsius to Fahrenheit is 62 Celsius. That's not too bad. Uh, bath water temperature. Let's see. And then I'll put in our town. Uh, let's have a look. It is 18.6 Celsius. That's not too bad. It's not too good either. So, the tide in Norway as well is that at 12.17 a.m. 12.17 a.m. 12.54 p.m. It's very confusing because we use military time, but here it says it in. I don't understand that kind of... Oh well, whatever. It's alright. <laughs> hmm. If you don't mind, I will read softly to you what's going on in the news lately as well. So let's see. Here we go. So... So, you know, the coronavirus thing. In Norway, it's completely, you know, what should I say? It's currently going away, but here I'm looking at a thing that in the town close to me, there's been a new outbreak because people have currently gone to... Spain and all the places, even though they recommend not to. Now there's been another outbreak. So that's not good. Well, let's see. And Israel and Hezbollah are currently fighting at the border. I feel like there's always going on something there, sadly. And... There's a lot of electrical cars still going on. It's a new Tesla it's been for sale here in Norway and it's for 829,000 crowns aka that is quite a lot for a car so mm -hmm. huh. so the car has been driven for 
400,000 kilometers. That's, but you know what? No, thank you. That car's gonna break down. How do you drive a Tesla for that long? When it's that new, he says it's completely new Tesla. It's been 400,000. Jesus, that. No, that's not right. <laughs> that's not okay at all. Jesus Christ. Oh well. Hmm. So, it's also a cat car. I'll try and explain it to you while you keep your eyes closed. It's a car that's basically formed like a cat. And, huh, that's quite interesting, but I have to close it down if I want to sleep as well. <laughs> huh, a cat car. Imagine having that. Look at all these expensive cars. And it's just, I don't know, I'd rather spend my money on something else. I mean, I understand that if you have that much money and you're really interested in cars and you drive every single day, or you drive a lot, you don't need to drive every single day, but imagine you have work, which is a couple of miles away from you. In Norway, a mile is quite a lot, but in, I don't know, what is in the United States, but uh, if you have to drive very, very far, let's say that instead. Well, yeah, if you have to drive really far, I can understand that you would need a mask. No mask, sorry. Understand that you would need a car. You still need a mask, though. Um, looking at all these videos of people saying, Oh, I can't wear a mask. It restricts my breathing. Or masks are useless. And I don't want to get political. But I don't understand why. Like, here's the thing. I'm not going to take a stance on what's right and what's wrong. I wear a mask, and I will continue to wear a mask. I will not stop wearing a mask. It's as simple as that for me, and I prefer if other people wear masks around me as well. I've seen what the coronavirus do to people from working in the ambulance force, and I would not like to have a tube shoved down my throat and into my lungs. But I'm just saying that, you know, you wear a mask, and if it doesn't work, well, at least you wear it. But if it does work, then congratulations, you wore it. Now, what are the downsides if it didn't work and you wore it? Well, you wore a cloth piece on your face. That's it. That's absolutely it. There's nothing else wrong with it. I, yeah, I don't get it, but. <sighs> you know, let's put aside all these talkings about Corona and all that. Let's try and think about ourselves and our own health <sighs> and try to fall asleep. You really need to fall asleep, 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 asleep. time for me to also close my eyes and let's meet again in our dreams good night may you sleep well <laughs>